there are few cities in the world that can truly be called a photographer's paradise. Havana, of course, is one. Paris, undoubtedly. London, maybe. One that would be at the top of any list is Istanbul. This immense city is both incredibly beautiful and blessed with incredible light. Straddling two continents, multiple cultures and millenniums of history, Istanbul should be high on the list of any photographer. My name's Jason Rowe and I'm a freelance travel photographer and videographer and today I want to introduce you to my photographer's guide to Istanbul. Stay tuned to the end for my absolute favourite location and if you've enjoyed the video, consider dropping me a like and a subscription. In 2019, Turkey opened the new Istanbul airport, Istanbul Havilamani. This vast hub serves flights from all over the planet, making Istanbul a very easy place to get to. What's not quite so easy is getting from the airport to the city. Havilimani is some 50 kilometers from the center of the city and as at the time of making this video there was no metro service. The two main options are express bus and taxi. A taxi should cost around 20 to 25 dollars to the city center. Things get a lot easier in the city. Istanbul has an extensive public transport system consisting of trams, buses, ferries and metro. The services are cheap and frequent and there is a contactless payment card, Istanbul Card, that makes travelling around easy. The taxis are also cheap, but Istanbul's drivers have a notorious reputation for ripping tourists off. Insist that the meter is on at the beginning of the journey or use one of the Turkish taxi apps such as Buy Taxi. You might want to avoid taxis where possible as the traffic in Istanbul is amongst the most congested in the world. Public transport is quicker, cheaper and the locals practice good social distancing on board. The old city of Istanbul is dominated by two of the greatest mosques on the planet, the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Between them lies Sultan Hamid Park, the perfect location to shoot boats for these impressive structures. In the morning, the light falls best on the Blue Mosque, whilst evening light illuminates the Hagia Sophia. Heading into the twilight, the lighting on both mosques is very beautiful and can make for some stunning blue hour images. The park is a haven for locals and tourists alike and can be a great place for the street photographers amongst you. Just north of Sultan Hamad is the Topkapi Palace, the former residence of the Sultans. Entrance is around $12, but the palace and its grounds are incredibly photogenic. Ornate architecture and manicured gardens make this a great place to spend a few hours shooting. The pièce de résistance, however, are the stunning views over the Golden Horn and Bosphorus from the terraces at the end of the palace. Take a decent telephoto to pull in some great long shots of the frenetic activity on the waters. If you want to get up close and personal with that frenetic activity, Eminono is the place to head. Here, ferries of all different shapes and sizes head out across the Bosphorus. It's a great place to shoot both at dawn or sunset, silhouetting the ships against the sun, getting beautiful backlit long shots of the passengers. It's also a great place from which to shoot the famous Galata Tower on the opposite side of the Golden Horn. Connecting the two sides of the Golden Horn is the Galata Bridge. This bridge is chock full of locals fishing from both its sides. It's an incredibly photogenic place for street photographers. Look out for the fishermen feeding the well-informed local cats for some great candid shots. 
North of the Galata Bridge is Karakoy, the main port area of the city. Closest to the bridge is another ferry port, but the main photographic attraction here is the view of the mosques in the old city. At sunset, the light is quite magical. Combine the timeless skyline of old Istanbul with the plethora of ferries heading out onto the Bosphorus and you will find yourself returning time and time again to this amazing location. The sun, at most times of the year, tends to set behind the Galata Bridge, giving you the opportunity for some great silhouette shots of fishermen on the bridge. The light is also beautiful on the Suleimani Mosque, especially during the twilight. The steep streets of Karakoy lead up to the Galata Tower. There are one or two beautiful old cobblestone streets leading up that can make for some great shots. They are also great places to capture Istanbul's famous other residents, its street cats. If there is a part of Istanbul that makes you feel that you are truly in an exotic location, it's its bazaars. The two main ones are the Spice Market and the famous Grand Bazaar. Both are pretty well lit and accessible for photography. For general shots, a decent wide fast angle will be best. For more detailed shots, a nifty 50 or similar will be great. Outside of the pandemic, both markets can be very busy and crowded. I have found the best way to get shots is to shoot on a good smartphone with a gimbal. That way you can raise the camera well above your head to get some good top-down shots. Another tip, especially in the spice market, is to buy some products. This makes the vendors much more amenable to letting you shoot their wares. Not only do you get some great shots of exotic spices, but also some fresh pistachio or Turkish delight to nibble on the way home. Your hotel will probably have all sorts of leaflets promoting Bosphorus cruises. Unless you really need a live narration, however, there's a much cheaper alternative. Take a ferry. For a fraction of a dollar, you can jump on a ferry and cruise to multiple locations around the city. It's a great way to get fantastic shots of various parts of the city's skyline. Best of all, you can use your Istanbul cart. Shooting from the ferry at dawn or dusk affords some spectacular shots. One place to head to is Uskudar on the Asian side of the Bosphorus. A short walk from the ferry port is the Maiden's Tower, a picturesque edifice on a small island in the Bosphorus. Behind the tower is a great view of old Istanbul and Galata, and at sunset the view is magical. The tower is surprisingly close to shore, and a standard lens is good enough to frame it. James Bond aficionados will recognise the location from The World Is Not Enough. As a side note, if you're in the market for some new camera gear, there's actually a photographic quarter in the city. Located in Eminomo, it's packed with dozens of camera stores and photographic wholesalers. It's a great place to practice your bargaining skills. So what of my favourite location? Well, it has to be the waterfront at Karakoy, under the Galata Bridge. In a few metres, there are several locations with which to shoot the Istanbul skyline, the fishermen on the Galata Bridge, and the vast array of ferries coming and going. In the evening golden hour, it's a wonderful place to shoot from. As far as photographic cities go, Istanbul is as rich a location as any place I know. This brief video cannot mention all, but others would include the Ortakov Mosque with spectacular views of the Bosphorus Bridge behind, the Dolmabansi Palace and Istiklal Avenue, the main shopping street with its historic trams. Above all else, the thing that makes Istanbul special is its light. There is a magical clarity to the light in this city that makes photography a joy, especially in the golden and blue hours. It's a stunning location all year round and one that I hope to return to again and again. Let us know in the comments below if you're planning to go to Istanbul or if you have your own favourite photography location in the city.